Welcome to Travel in Style, the series that brings you the very best of the best. It's the land of the legendary Dodo, and a favorite sunning ground for the French, South American, and German tourists. And it's a growing market for the British and Americans, too. It is the island Mauritius. Talking about markets, the one in the island's capital, Port Louis, comes highly recommended. Markets are a fantastic place to learn about the people and the cultures of wherever you're visiting. Here, for example, with the majority of the population being Hindu, there's telltale evidence of some serious curry-making material. Just look at these chilies. Fantastic. This is a brilliant place to shop. There's everything from exotic fruits and t-shirts to budgerigars. Port Louis is a delightful mixture of modern and colonial architecture. It's clean, and its citizens are helpful and charming. We have roughly 1.2 million inhabitants, but what is mostly about Mauritius is that the mixity means that you've got different population, different religion, different cultures, and we have all the kind of commonality of thinking. It means that Mauritius is so hospitable. We welcome foreigners, and that's why the tourism industry is doing very well, because we have something special to offer. It's the way that we look at the tourists as friends, as part of the family, the way that we do welcome them to Mauritius. This is what makes Mauritius great. Port Louis, as its name implies, is a maritime city, and just like London's Canary Wharf, has been refurbished, redeveloped, and rediscovered. Here, you'll find luxury watches, jewelry, perfumes, and many excellent cafes and restaurants along the paved boulevards, with views of the commercial port. You'll even find a casino. The island's 99 miles of coastline are surrounded by coral reefs, except in the south, where spectacular cliffs are whipped by the ocean sea. The interior of this tropical country consists of a central plateau laced with sugarcane and rainforests that are set against moody outlines of volcanic peaks. Ah, the Indian Ocean. Warm, skin caressing and inviting, whether you're in it, on it or under it. How's this for a unique experience? So far, more than 12,000 dives have been performed with customers aged from 2 to 91 years old. It's a great way to dive 35 meters without even getting your hair wet. If you prefer above water activities, boy, do we have a treat for you. Hiding behind these imposing gates is the entrance to Le saint Garant, our stay for the duration of the program. It's an amazing property, nestled in the white sands of its own peninsula on the east coast of the island. This Mediterranean-like village, filled with whitewashed accommodation, thatched buildings, and flower-splashed gardens, has some of the best beaches and water sports on the island, thanks to this sheltered lagoon. We have a very tropical climate, what, 25 to 35 degrees, um, and, and it's a very nice all-year-round destination. The resort's relaxed and discreet luxury is complemented by service that is attentive yet unobtrusive. There's 70% of the staff that have been here more than 18 years. You've got 650 staff looking after you and the standards and service are just phenomenal. I think you probably need to come and stay here to experience it. But it's something that, that I've never experienced in my life in hotels. Um, and why we have such a high, you know, repeat guests. You know, guests come back and back and back. Multi-generational families with kids just, just keep coming back. And it's lovely, it's really lovely. Under the calm sway of thousands of coconut palms, immaculate gardens run down to the edge of the coral sand beach, which wraps the peninsula for over a mile. Yeah, yeah. 
Ever tried your hand at water skiing? Well, this is the place for both adults and children to learn. This place is quite unique. Here, we have a perfect lagoon for water ski because if the wind is strong, that lagoon here, that particular place here, is flat. We offer private tuition only, so we make things happen. So you come to you come to see me, you tell me your dream, and I make it happen. I make it happen. Here you can keep trim too with this 18 meter lap pool. So, all set for an afternoon of exploration? This island is the perfect size to self drive to all four corners. This is the Siwusaga Ramgulam Botanical Gardens, named after the island's most revered prime minister. It's the Mauritian version of Kew Gardens in London. More commonly known as the Pomplamoose Botanical Garden, this popular tourist attraction is the oldest botanical garden in the southern hemisphere. And if you're a botanical freak, you'll certainly while away many happy hours here. The garden was first constructed by Pierre Poivre in 1719 and covers an area of around 37 hectares. While the garden is most famous for its giant water lilies, the garden features spices, ebonies, and sugarcane, as well as 85 varieties of palms from Central America, Asia, Africa, and the islands around the Indian Ocean. This is Flicon Flac Beach on the west coast of the island. This pleasing Mauritius Bay seems to have derived its name from an old Dutch phrase, fried landvlak, that literally means free and flat land. This part of the Mauritian coast has been adopted by international hotel chains like Hilton, Sofitel and Taj, so it can get very busy, especially at weekends when the locals flood to the public beach. Now we do like to add a little romance to our programs, so we've ordered the ultimate in candlelight dining on your behalf. The ingredients are simple. A moonlit boat deck, some candles, and of course, your very own waiter. This is the height of romance, a setting guaranteed to create a truly magical moment for those in love. Ah, happy memories. As far as the entertainment goes, you can dance until the early hours. But there's a fragment of the island's population who have kept their traditional music alive. With Africa just a few hundred miles over the western horizon, Sega dance rhythms seem a perfect way to end a perfect day.
It's the Caribbean and the beautiful island, well, actually, beautiful country of Jamaica. This is the home of reggae, with a rugged interior of lush green hills and valleys edged by tantalizing views of aqua blue sparkling waters on its many beaches. It's the island nation of the Greater Antilles and is 145 miles in length and 50 miles wide. As such, it is the third largest island in the Caribbean, offering plenty to do and see. Here you can explore exotic river trips, sample rum in ancient factories, and swim in the chilled waters of wonderful waterfalls. So keep watching to see the best excursions this land has to offer. Our first order of business is to pick a place to stay. We have chosen the Grand Lido Negril, the flagship of the Super Club's fleet all-inclusive resorts. Nestled in 22 acres of tropical gardens, the approach is a delight, but the first impressions count, and here there is no disappointment. With this huge, lofty marble entrance hall and the gracious welcome of the resort's friendly team members. Grand Lido Negril, it's 210 Suites Hotel. It's located on the west coast of Jamaica and it's um, situated on the Bloody Bay Beach in Negril. It's an all-inclusive hotel. We have 24-hour room service. And um, not to blow our own trumpet, I think we have the finest ladies and gentlemen serving here. Staff, Staff are um, well-trained, well-mannered, very gracious in the way they deliver service. And I would say, most of all, they're very caring, which is what you need in hospitality. We have five restaurants, six bars, two swimming pools, five jacuzzis, um, a wonderful beach, and we have a cliffside to our property, which um, our nude beach is located there. And our location is spectacular because we're fortunate to have some of the rooms located on the beach and some on the cliffside of the property. And there are no other location, honestly, in Negril. That, that has a setting like this. As you would notice, uh, this is the only wooden deck actually in Negril without a rail that falls over the Caribbean Sea. It's a hell of a feature, believe me. With such a crystal clear bay to explore, it makes sense to see both above and below the water. So, if staying for a week, what better time to take scuba lessons? As with most scuba courses, the tri-dive starts in the safety of the pool. For landlubbers, there is always plenty going on, especially when it comes to food. With six restaurants offering French or Italian and even Japanese cuisine. Right. The chefs here are award winning and just love to show off their cooking and creative talents to the guests. So don't be surprised to find mouth watering creations like this, for instance, on a regular basis around the resort. Can you imagine how many hours a display like this will have taken to prepare? We are basically doing this, this um, demonstration. With the, with the bay view behind us, and um, it's a demonstration for our guests to see what we do here and um, have a feel of our Jamaican cuisine. First, we decided to use a watermelon today, and we use watermelon because of the color contrast, the green, the white, the red. We do the watermelon with some daikons here, and this is a celery. We pre do them, and then we put them in ice water to soak, so they're, they get become, become crispy. And we do like four or five per week, different locations of the hotel, so I guess you can see our creativity. Here, all desires can be satisfied. This unbelievable beach invites lovers of water sports to windsurf, snorkel, 
water ski, sail a sunfish, or simply stand around and let the world keep spinning while you are knee deep in the Caribbean Sea. Of course, it's not just the humans that enjoy these crystal clear waters. It's a paradise for the local wildlife too, like this blue heron in search of tasty morsels. This property commands an impressive stretch of Negril's breathtaking beaches, miles of silver sand on Jamaica's southwest shore. This world-acclaimed resort boasts a AAA Four Diamond Award, as well as the Condé Nast Traveler's Readers Award for Best Resort in the Caribbean and Latin America. You can see why. The rooms are exceptional. This is one of the two presidential suites exquisitely furnished with mahogany furniture, a private jacuzzi on the patio, and separate dining area with wet bar. But awards are one thing. What reaction do the guests have when staying here? Overall, excellent comments. A uh, lot of repeat guests, about 25% of our clientele are repeat guests, um, coming from many places, mostly North America and Europe. So it seems a wonderful place to stay. But what of Jamaica as a destination? Some say it's dangerous, while others think of this island as simply idyllic. In truth, just like many major cities in the world, there are areas that are best avoided. But don't let that put you off. This is a country that is a joy to explore. But there is no doubt that it's the country's size and population of over 2.8 million that makes this island stand out in the Caribbean chain as very special. Jamaica, we're truly fortunate because of the diverse backgrounds of our people. There is, um, we're fortunate to have heritage from Europe, from Asia, from Africa. And because of this, we have a very rich culture in, um, in our f food, in our music, for sure. Um, really sets us apart from the rest of the Caribbean, I believe. Jamaica is divided into 14 parishes, which are grouped into three historic counties named after Cornwall, Middlesex, and Surrey in England. In fact, wherever you travel here, you will be reminded of the country's British past. It was in fact 1655 when the English took control of Jamaica from the Spanish, who were the first to claim the territory. Be warned, the roads on the island are very poor, and so if you do go sightseeing, be prepared for long trips in the car. Most major towns and cities are located on the coast, with many tourist attractions scattered across the country. One such attraction is well worth heading for, the YS Falls in St. Elizabeth, where on arrival, you can swim off the hot journey in the chilling waters in no less than seven magnificent tiered cascading waterfalls. Bliss. You can also relax in a huge expansive wading pool that's fed by the underground springs. The water here is so clean, it's actually drinkable. However, after a heavy rain, it can become quite muddy, but then it's good for the skin. A no-lose situation. This is a great place to spend the day, so make sure to pack a picnic. The YS Falls have recently won an award for Outstanding Environmental Development of an Ecotourism Attraction, an achievement its owner is very proud of. YS Falls is a leading attraction in Jamaica. I think it's one of the leading ones on the south coast, but it is one of the leading attractions in Jamaica today. This area of the south coast of Jamaica is actually the, um, we like to call it the underdeveloped, unspoiled area. The uh, falls here are on a farm, a working farm. We breed thoroughbred horses and beef cattle. So uh, 
Really, the place is really natural, unspoiled. We're trying to keep it that way. We do everything with wood and, um, and try not to touch the environment too much. We have seven waterfalls with about two or three rapids as well. We also offer river tubing, but uh, the river conditions aren't conducive to that today. You need a little bit more rainfall to, to uh, do that. The main source of the water comes from uh, up in the hills of Trelawney and St. James. So I'd say about 10, 15 miles up in the hills from here. So there are two or three rivers that feed it, go on the ground, come back up here. At YS, we also offer the uh, Chukka Canopy Tour, which uh, at present time is three traverses. Uh, the longest one being straight down the center of the falls, which is 750 feet. So it's pretty exciting. It's time to head back to the hotel where the water activities continue to the end of the day. Negril is actually the main resort here in Jamaica and is very popular for its nightlife. In fact, it's also the number one party destination on the island. This part of the world is famous for its sunsets. Somehow, they never seem to fail. Here, the light at the end of the day is quite spectacular. It's a time to stand and reflect on the sheer beauty of nature. It's a private time with just the sound of lapping waves breaking the calm and silence. Quite simply, it's the magic hour.